Why would you use ChatGPT when you have Notion? You could just use Notion AI, right? Well, you could do both. You ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about how Notion AI is actually limited at the moment? They might be saying, wait a second, wait a second. I can get ChatGPT for $8 a month instead of $20 a month with Notion by using Notion AI. We'd be half right. You can actually just not pay for ChatGPT Pro and use it through API with make.com. And guess what? It'll be cheaper and still work in Notion. No, I did that little intro to pose a question to the crowd. Would you like me to make more automation-based videos? Would you like me to make a course on ChatGPT automations? Answering these questions are key to helping me understand who my target market is and how I should run my business. But regardless, what if I told you that you could import ChatGPT data very quickly and brainstorm a lot of different tweets just like this? So say I were to make a phantom account on Twitter. You know, a ghost account, one might say. If I went into chat GPT and made a new chat, I would say, write me 50 provocative, stoic platitudes, I should say original, under 280 characters each written in a simple table format. Whoa, what's happening? It's doing it in a table. That's crazy. I am actually mind blown by the way that ChatGPT has the ability to like easily make tables like this. Something that we all should marvel at more often. All right, now it reached its its peak at 38. I get it. Like we 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 can't expect it to do more. So say I copied all of these like this. And I went into Notion and I did slash table paste. Okay. So then when we go here what we can do is we can go options, header column, turn into database, fix the fact that it didn't listen to me, change these headers to be, if you watch me do that again, we go here, control X, paste this, stoic platitude, delete this. Then we have stoicism quote. Now what we could do is just select property called status, and then we can make a property, you know, like idea, writing, editing, finished, scheduled, and then finish it off with published. And then change this to editing. I could drag this guy down all the way to the very end. And then we zoom out, and then we could go through and quickly edit all this text so that it'd be the right length for Twitter and continue this process over and over again to write tweets and Notion. Now you could have done that with Notion AI, but you don't have to, because if I once again regenerate the response here, funny enough, this time it's actually bringing in a character count, which is absolutely mind boggling. Then once I finished it, we could go down here, do this, go to the right column, and then we could just paste and we'd be good to go. Now, obviously what you can do is after the first time you can get rid of table part and just have it spit out text like this and then copy and paste in like that i'm just saying pretty dang simple to do this and you can add new data to databases without it being much of an issue as notion gets more and more into an excel like system for tables don't be tricked by notion ai or be tricked by the fact that i'm trying to plug this video and how to improve your productivity even more don't get don't get tricked